From high above, Echo Voyager glides through the Pacific Ocean. Then the 51-foot-long unmanned undersea vehicle slowly descends into the dark blue water. A step the vehicle will repeat for more than two months. This is just the initial sea trials. Um, we're standing by the vehicle. Ultimately, the vehicle's gonna run by itself for, for multiple months at a time. Um, so we're standing by the vehicle, we're, we're following the vehicle. So this is, this is the first step of, of many of at-sea testing. The Boeing test team lives and works on a nearby ship. Every day, they send Echo Voyager on a series of dives and surface runs. Step one, releasing it from tow. Swells can reach eight feet. The most physically demanding task belongs to the swim team. So we've seen a lot of different types of seas. Uh, there's been days that we have to actually splash in the ocean full, full gear uh, in order to get the, the vehicle uh, hooked up. We've been able to do a lot of testing that we haven't been able to do before, so it's, a, it's kind of a banner day for us today. Once the swimmers release the rope, Echo Voyager is free. Free in the open ocean with no walls, no safety nets. This is true open water testing. The first time it went underwater uh, under on my shift, it, I was, uh, I think my blood pressure raised 20 points. <laughs> a small station is in the middle of the ship. From here, test engineers watch and wait. Today's mission, a surface run, repeating the same pattern over and over again, despite changing conditions. It's going to do some initial setup. It's going to drive to this point, this point, and it's going to go over here, and it's just going to do circles. And so it's trying to maintain its position over time. So it doesn't drift with the ocean, that sort of thing. Every test matters. Every command followed. Every proper function achieved is critical because once Echo Voyager is programmed to go on its first deep water test, it's on its own. Economy is that much more important. The vehicle has got to be able to understand what to do if it gets into trouble, um, make rule-based decisions, and act in a way that allows it to stay safe and complete its mission. Deep sea trials are the next test for Echo Voyager. Each day, more and more test points are achieved, putting the team that much closer to releasing the extra-large, unmanned, undersea vehicle to operate completely on its own.